I've been practicing on the spiritual path for a long time, I feel. Um, my been question, paying attention. Been paying attention. Thinking and to, feeling. Yes. Um, my question is, what is the vibrational essence of what religion, spirituality was meant to teach us? Well, religions as you know them today, as everything that is manifesting, is a byproduct of the consensus of vibration. And so there's some of everything in all of those. For some, religion is a focal point where they tune into who they really are. For some, it's a list of guarded rules to try to protect themselves from things unwanted. So the very experience of religion, or anything for that matter, can line you up or disconnect you it, in and of itself. It, it doesn't, it's not that it exists to accomplish something in you. It's that what you as mass consciousness have accomplished, it mirrors back to you. Mm. It's like one day Esther was watching something to do with the medical community years and years ago. And she was railing against it. She didn't like the tone of the commercial. She didn't like the one of every out of one out of every five people has this and it's probably you tone of the, of the commercial. And she was sort of talking back to the television. Don't you know that you are the promotion of the very thing that you seem to be saying you want to not promote, you're promoting it. And so once she settled down a little bit and we were in dialogue mode, we said, you know, Esther, don't rail against the medical community as it exists mm -hmm. because it exists in response to the vibration of mass consciousness. It's a reflection. It's a byproduct of the way people feel. It's not the reason that people feel the way they do. And when you get that turned around so that you realize that all of those things, they're just their reflection of mass consciousness. You don't have to understand how anybody else's relationship with anything came about or even is. It's just your own relationship with it. Mm. Esther has said to those close to her, and of course we speak, we blab what she says to everyone, whether they're close to her or not, that she has more affinity with more religions now as she's able to see them through the eyes of source than she ever did before. But religions are not receiving the benefit of the diversity of all the religions because each religion stands in its place saying we are the only true one and all the rest of you are wrong in these ways and these ways and these ways. So religion like other things, but especially religion is a, it's a focal point that more often than not serves to hold people from who they really are okay. rather than giving them an avenue to who they really are and again it's like we were saying earlier it's like looking for love in all the wrong places in other words there are lots of very well connected people inside religions do not misunderstand us just don't ask anything to be the means to your end let your alignment be the means to the never endings ends. You heard that clearly? Yes. Yeah. So finally, what would Abraham's message be to the world at large in terms of, because I think this is the leading edge knowing right now. What is the main message to the world and not, and not becoming a cult later on or you are, you are beautiful in your diversity. You are magnificent in your diversity. And you are perfect in your differences. And the diversity of you is what is responsible for the evolution and the continuing of you. And in your awareness and appreciation of difference now, you can receive the benefit of everything that has ever been before right here and now. You can open yourself to receiving the fullness of everything that all of us have become right here and now. Everyone who has ever lived, who has ever explored contrast and launched rockets of preference for improvement is standing in awareness of you 
and flowing all of that love and all of that knowledge and all of that worthiness right there to you and so as an individual of the world as you stand in openness of feeling all of that that's tuned in tapped in turned on that's enlivenment that's being alive that's empowerment that's pure love that's unconditional love okay. yeah so what would we say to the world feel satisfaction with what is and eagerness for more that's the perfect mantra satisfaction with what is appreciation for what is and eagerness for more and that's something that no matter what religion background you're from you can live you can use that mantra and change your life kind of. well the thing is at the heart of every religion is a vibrational basis but a lot of religions as they exist today have morphed in terms of the way people are translating it way past the vibrational basis so people are actually using the word love while they've got hate in their heart so they're talking about love all the time but they're not loving while they're talking about it. they're feeling hate and the reason they're fe feeling hate is because before they felt felt hate they felt fear before they felt hate they felt fear and hates just an improvement over the fear that they were feeling they felt vulnerable they felt not enough they felt defensive they felt guarded they felt they felt disadvantaged you see well the very fact that they can feel so disadvantaged speaks to the true advantage they have doesn't it mm -hmm. the very fact that they can feel such fear or hate mm -hmm. speaks to the love that is truly who they are doesn't it mm -hmm. but how are you going to get there from there well you just can't continue to beat the drum of what's gone wrong and can't continue to beat the drum of what's wrong with you and you and you you can't continue to rail against diversity when diversity is the basis of all that you are in other words you got to bless your differences that have caused your nowness you see mm. ah so the problem with this conversation is that you are all getting it because you're right up to speed with where we are but as you think about speaking these words to others who don't get it it sort of strikes fear to your heart <laughs> because because you can't get them to perceive what you perceive don't worry everyone will when they make their transition okay. and all the new ones coming in are already feeling it the balance of your planet is really really wonderful the beasts the animals of your planet they're all pure positive energy the new ones coming in at really rapid rate right now are pure positive energy those who are making their transition are finding alignment with who they are and those like you are finding it even while you are still here in your physical body just leaving behind more and more resistance so nothing's broken we don't have to fix the world the world is not broken the world is working really really well the only thing that we're even having a conversation with you about this because the only reason is because we want you to be joyful now we want you to find a way to be joyful now okay we want you to be who you are now we want you to feel the fullness and the pleasure and the perfection of what's going on on planet earth right now you are evolving it is a magnificent time this is the time of waking this is the time of greatest expansion this, the potential for joy in this time is greater than it has ever been and getting greater in every moment that goes on you see there is nothing to worry about there's nothing to fear there's only vibrational dissonance from the well-being that is abundant you see if there was anything that we could just zap you with knock you over the head with leave you with it would be this understanding things aren't getting worse they're getting better because the desires and dreams that all have launched is still held in a vortex and is still in the process of being realized it has already been the perfection that you're all looking for the abundance the wellness the clarity the joy the fun the thriving that you're all looking for has already been vibrationally achieved and now it's up to you as individuals to be the perceiver of that you see oh the perceiver of that 
But you can't be the perceiver of well-being when you're listening to rhetoric about how bad they are and how bad they are and how this is wrong and how this is wrong and how this is wrong. Disconnect yourself from CNN and watch what happens to your life, you see. No longer, no longer activate the vibration of resistance that prevents you from being the realizer of all of the good that all of us have created that is so abundant and just ripe for the picking you see ripe for the realization ripe for the perceiving just right right on the tip of your tongue right on the tip of your mind right on the tip of your manifestation right there for you right there for you right there for you right there for you but where are you well I'm beating the drum of this and I'm beating the drum of that well cut it out be the happy people that you were born to be and, and then watch the exponential expansion of your happiness until there'll be moments that there will be so many things bursting into your experience in perfection on so many different levels and subjects that you will know for sure unequivocally the perfection, the value, the worthiness, the rightness of your beingness in that moment. You'll know it. So the only problem is my perception of it, not what's going on. The only thing that's wrong is how I'm perceiving it. If I change my perception, then there is nothing wrong from how you see it. Yeah, and not only by changing the perception will you feel better in the moment, but then all of the evidence that supports your newfound perception will roll into your experience. Mm -hmm. And then you will bless every rascal in the world that helped you launch all those rockets of desire. You will bless all the pieces of your vortex as they start manifesting in your experience. Oh, Esther felt such appreciation as this manifestation came wafting in. She had deja vu all day, every day, as she realized how many things were in her vortex that she didn't even know were there until she chilled out and let them show up. You got that. Thank have you. fun it's easier than we are making it out to be we're using far too many words we blame you and we don't blame you we're using far more words you're getting it aren't you you've got it you know don't you feel better than you did a little while ago and aren't you aren't you feeling eager about life and aren't you pleased that the universe is demonstrating to you in great frequency the the improvement in your vibration that you are accomplishing don't you like being the creator of your own experience, the deliberate creator? Don't you like to think and feel on purpose? Don't you, don't, do you like knowing that you are more than this physical body? And do you like knowing the perspective of source who is there with you? Not looking at you, thinking with you, flowing through you aware of what you're talking about aware of what you're doing aware of where you're driving and where you're shopping and about what you're eating aware of you aware and enjoying the pleasure of the perfection of you you see so when you give yourself a little bit more of a break and stop beating up on yourself so much and accept the perfection that is you by just catching a glimpse of it here and here and here and here and here before you know it you will have checked off your list everything that you thought you wanted and you'll stop making those lists because you'll realize that you've made enough of them to keep you busy for 20 or 30 lifetimes that you've set your goals you've made your plans you've done your asking and it is done and now it's time for you to tune your perception to the receiving of all that you are feels so good as that happens that's your evidence how you feel the calmness the clearness the lightheartedness that's Esther's new favorite word I like that feeling of lighthearted that fun lighthearted feeling is that the inner witness what you're talking about say again what you're talking about that's with us all the time is that would you also call it the inner witness it's witnessing everything but that's we haven't said that but we could that's a good that's a good that's a it, it, it's it, it's inner perspective inner perspective of right where you are with pleasure and pride okay. and love you see okay. and when you let yourself feel that then that's who you are in the world and all good things must be your experience it's just the way law of attraction works we have enjoyed this interaction more than words can convey it's powerful <laughs>